There are widespread power outages and reports of damage in two states this morning after storms hit South Australia and Victoria. The system has been hitting Melbourne in the past few hours with trees down and power cut to thousands of residents. In South Australia, the same intense weather system cut power to 30,000 homes and businesses and damaged fruit and vegetable crops on the outskirts of Adelaide. We've got reporter Madeline Morris in Melbourne and Charles Bryce in Adelaide. Mads, to you first. Uh, looks like it's not too, your hair's not flying around everywhere at the moment, but it's been pretty. <laughs> but it's been pretty wild there in Melbourne this morning. Oh, it, it really has been completely wild. In news breakfast, my hair was all over the place, Joe. There have been really damaging winds, as you say, gusting of up to 140 kilometres an hour in the Grampians today. Just down at uh, St Kilda, not too far from where I am today, early this morning, it was 115 kilometre an hour winds. There are reports of more than 90,000 homes without power around the state this morning. So uh, largely due to that wind knocking down trees and taking out power lines. The SES has been called out for more than 750 jobs. And if you remember, uh, the Macedon Rangers really suffered earlier this year in June. They had power out there for about uh, a couple of days and that power is out there again today, the SES out there. Um, so it has been extremely, extremely windy. There was lots of hail and rain overnight, thunderstorms too. Uh, it has calmed down just at this point in time though. Yeah. And Mad, so we've seen heaps of shots of uh, trees down or branches down, but not too much of any building damage at this stage. From your discussions with the SES and, and listening into what's going on, have you heard that there's been much actual building damage in Victoria? Yeah, there are some reports of some roofs off down in uh, Port Melbourne, okay. Joe, and it's hard to imagine that further uh, that there will not be further damage yeah. to buildings as well because it, it really has been very, very wild and windy. And what the Bureau is telling us is that uh, they do expect these winds to keep going until about 11am. There's still a severe weather warning for most of the southern part of the state. Um, and there's also a thunderstorm asthma warning as well because of those thunderstorms that came through overnight. But the good news, no, no reports of any injuries whatsoever at this stage? Not that I've heard, Joe. Yep. I have not heard that at this stage. Yep, good. OK, Madeline Morris here in Melbourne. Let's now head to Charles Bryce in Adelaide. So, Charles, you were hit by this same system yesterday. How bad did it get there? It was quite bad, Joe. Uh, the SES were kept quite busy. They had around 1,000 call-outs uh, for help. The majority of those uh, were in the northern parts of Adelaide in Salisbury. There was about 750 call-outs for help there. Both residential and commercial buildings copped it all yesterday. Uh, there were uh, holes uh, in roofs from uh, heavy hail as well. And this was all from three storm fronts uh, that did sweep across the state. Uh, that did bring damaging winds, uh, heavy rainfall, and as I said, uh, the hail, which uh, was as, as sometimes uh, as big as golf balls. The footage was actually quite spectacular. There was a town uh, in the Barossa Valley, uh, Tanunda, that they experienced some flash flooding as well as some of the towns, uh, some of the buildings in the main street there. Uh, they were uh, quite badly damaged uh, with water coming through the ceilings, uh, and so shop fronts did have to close. Uh, eight schools around the state also had to close uh, after experiencing damage themselves. Um, we did see power outages as well uh, throughout the day yesterday and into the night. Uh, 30,000 homes uh, did uh, experience blackouts. And even this morning, Joe, there is uh, about 12,000 homes uh, across the state from the Air Peninsula uh, to uh, the Adelaide surrounds and even in the uh, Riverland and down in the southeast as well are still without power. And Charles, the worst of the damage in terms of financial costs seems to be to farmers in, that, in South Australia. Yeah, that's right. They're going to be waking up this morning and counting the damage. Uh, the costs are expected to be in the millions of dollars. Uh, there are fruit orchards and, and vineyards just outside of Adelaide and, uh, and throughout the Riverland as well. Uh, I spoke to uh, a farmer in the Riverland uh, last night and earlier this morning and uh, they said it, it's, uh, you know, they, they were uh, looking at having a bumpy year this year, but uh, this uh, storm front that did come across uh, has just uh, really damaged that and it's looking like, uh, uh, you know, their, their forecast profits aren't going to be as high um, and the, uh, you know, the, the vineyard, uh, they've, uh, some of the crops there have, 
uh, almost lost uh, all of their crops. So, um, yeah, quite damaging for the farmers, which uh, you know it's going to have a flow-on effect uh, in the months to come with uh, a lack of fruit on the shelves in supermarkets. Okay, we'll leave it there. Charles Bryce in Adelaide and Madeline Morris in Melbourne.